kids? Peter Von Panda here with uh, Timex Unisex T2P1429J Weekender Watch. Uh, I believe this has the navy and tan nylon strap, and so I'm going to unbox this sucker uh, with you. The top opens up here. Again, this is one of these watches that isn't very expensive or is actually very inexpensive, and so um, you can buy a watch, has a little style, it's pretty functional, durable, reliable and uh, won't set you back a lot of money and so you don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, it has the Indiglo night light. This is the watch here. Again, like I said, the navy and tan nylon strap. It's actually, it's not really a NATO style strap, but it's uh, just a, um, a full on band that passes through the spring bars underneath. So you could absolutely put um, a regular watch strap on there that wouldn't even, that wouldn't pass through the back or might even, um, or a NATO style strap if you wanted, and um, but uh, the the distance between the lugs here. Let's take a quick peek at that because I actually don't know what it is. And so any, it looks like it's a 20 millimeter wide lug to lug. So any 20 millimeter strap you could throw on there, and it's got a couple of loops there, and the tang um, looks like it's pretty adjustable. There are holes for just about every size wrist, and I've got a pretty average seven and a half inch wrist, and it's got no problem putting that on. Plenty of extra material to tuck it under there, um, and looks pretty good. And the watch face, which I don't know is published on the sites that you buy it too often, is actually uh 38 millimeters so again this is a pretty small watch but what i like about it is one it's about 30 bucks it's a quartz movement and uh, it should keep pretty good time i'll push the crown in there um and you, as you can see it starts up this is a white dial let's take a peek at it everything about it is pretty vanilla but it's nicely constructed as you know timex is the premier uh brand in the um the typical everyday watch um world and you know it's got the uh standard hour markers around the the outer dial and then uh interestingly it's got a 24 hour um marking in this inner dial so you can kind of keep military time i think this is actually meant to look a little like a uh, kind of one of the old military issue watches, early World War. Um, again, pretty small. It's a unisex design, and what I what I kind of dig about this is that it looks casual. Um, kind of feels like something that would be from the Nautica brand. Definitely feels a little New Englandish to me. Uh, you can wear it with your Dockers and your Penny Loafers, dudes, um, and it should be a pretty nice watch. The the second hand here is our navy blue. I know it looks a little iridescent purple here in the video, but it is, it's truly a navy blue. It actually matches the, the blue in the, uh, the band quite well. And the hands are black. Um, there is, does not appear to be any uh, super luminova or glow in the dark on it. Um, and I don't think you would need it because, as I understand it, it will indie glow and i think you just push the crown in there so i'm going to shut off the lights here for you oh man it gets dark in a hurry and i'm going to push this and you can see that you just push the crown in and you get the indie glow function so uh works very well obviously you can read pretty much everything on there and i don't know how badly that kills the battery but man that is pretty bright it actually reminds me of those old chrysler um indie glow dials that they had uh, on like the 90s LH model. So pretty cool, very readable. I'm gonna flip on the lights here again. We'll go back and take a final look at it. Uh, nice round case. Uh, the uh, crystal is pretty flush. There's a little bit of a groove you can feel in there. So I'm assuming it's just a mineral crystal and it's polished all the way around. Pretty light. I'm gonna take a look at the back here, see if there's anything to note. Um, uses a standard watch battery. It says water resistance 30 meters, so uh, you definitely don't have to worry about it getting um, getting wet. 
and stainless steel construction. Pretty light, uh, good watch. Crown is going to be um, pretty simple, but to use, it's actually pretty small, so you're going to have to kind of dig it out there. But for $28, $29, you can't go wrong on this watch. So um, check it out and get it from a number of places. I'll put the link up on Amazon. Peter Von Panda, Timex, Unisex, T2P1429J, Weekender watch. So wear it this weekend. Panda out.